from Detroit. Bruh, when the daddy said he didn't know what to do, brothers pulled up. When the black man said he was scared, the brothers pulled up from Michigan, from Detroit. That's what I like to see. He said, we ride. So don't you all come to me and say, what we going to do about it? What you expect us to do? Slowness? When a black woman says this is a problem, when we, when y'all see it's something going on, why we got to sit there and tell you to pull up? 110%. Uh, you're talking about a $10,000 bond uh, that this man was let out for attempted murder of a six-year-old kid. You know, attempted murder charges in general go anywhere from, you know, 50000 to a million dollars and, and, and buying. So The brother know what he's talking about. A lot of black men know about the legal system. When I was dealing with the federal criminal situation, I was in the court because they surrounded my home and they brought local police to break into my house to pull me out. When I made my way to federal court for the arraignment, it was a black brother that was there on murder charges. He was dressed in a uniform that was different from everybody else. For a moment, the brother was like an angel to me. The brother saw that I was about to break down because I was so mad at these white supremacist feds that showed up to my house to arrest me and surround my house. The black brother that was there on murder charges Set in the jury box because that's where they made us sit for the arraignment. He started to prepare me for what was to come. He told me not to break down. He told me to get it together. That black brother told me to stay strong. I know that don't mean nothing to some of y'all. I know you probably like, but thinking he was on there on murder charge. Let me tell you something. God used that brother to strengthen me in that moment where I was standing there before that white supremacist and I would have spit in their face because I thought, how dare you come to my home and lie and disrespect me and do trumped up charges and scare my mother to death and surround my home. And this black man who was there on murder charges looked at me and told me to stand up strong, to strengthen myself and to get ready.